everybody, welcome back to Inside the Farms with Jack Hammer. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Trey Lance and the quarterback situation for the San Francisco 49ers. I've received a number of questions about this position throughout the offseason, and I don't initially expect to see them in anytime soon. It's going to be a topic uh, throughout. It might be a topic throughout the entire season in terms of who the starting quarterback is for the 49ers. We'll see, but there was one really good one that came through recently. Uh, on Twitter that I wanted to address, and it's from Cody Pilgrim 8. And Cody asks, what does Trey Lance need to do to take the starting quarterback job? And do you see any scenario where the 49ers don't lose and Lance doesn't get benched when Brock Purdy comes back? And the answer to that one, let's start with, what does he need to do to take the starting quarterback job? And I think what he said right there is, is part of it is he needs to go out and take it. Um, and, and how you go out and take it if you're Trey Lance is you go out and you're consistent and you're accurate. And those are the two areas that have really plagued him since he joined the 49ers. You know, just uh, unfortunately, he's not always the most accurate quarterback. That's partly why he has a 57.8 and 57.9 completion percentage during his time in San Francisco. And, you know, Lance is a really talented player. He can make all the throws on the field. We see him hit those deep shots, but the problem is that he, he misses the underneath stuff uh, too often. You know, during training camp, you, you look at what he did during training camp last year, and it's just, you know, those underneath little check down throws that he misses. You know, take yourself back to the Chicago game. And I understand the weather, so let's take the weather out of it. But just remind yourself of that game in Chicago. Remember, remind yourself of how well he threw those over routes. You know, he did a couple of them really nice. One to Ray Ray McLeod, another one to, I believe it was Brandon Ayuk. And, you know, then he hits a deep ball to Juwan Jennings. Those are really nice plays. And... Those are, were beautiful throws. So you know that he can do it. And then at the, at the same time in that game, you see some of those underneath throws that are, you know, not getting to the not getting to the right spot. And those underneath throws that aren't getting to the right spot, we saw that during training camp in San Francisco, out in Santa Clara when it was sunny. That didn't have anything to do with necessarily just the weather. So that's where Lance needs to improve. Just be more consistent, more accurate, and you're going to get the, you're, I think you're the, the going to see him win that starting quarterback job. Now, in terms of do I see a scenario where the 49ers don't lose and Trey Lance keeps the starting quarterback job when, when Brock Purdy comes back? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. I totally see that as a, as a scenario where that can happen. You know, Kyle Shanahan during his time in San Francisco, he hasn't changed quarterbacks when the team's doing well. The only time he's changed the quarterbacks is when the team isn't doing well. So if, if the 49ers are winning, let's say Trey Lance gets four starts to start the season off. If the 49ers are 4-0 and Trey Lance is playing at a high level, I think you see Trey Lance stay in. Uh, you know, if they're 2-2 two and two and Lance is struggling, then that's a different scenario. But if, if Lance is playing well and the team's winning, they're not going to switch it out just for the sake of switching it out. They're going to stay with a hot hand. Especially with a guy that you, you know, like Lance, who you have invested so much in. You're going to keep riding with them. At least that's my feeling on it. You know, um, the other question that I see come up quite a bit is, what about the locker room? How does Trey Lance win the locker room? And this is an easy one, and it kind of goes with what I just said, is the answer to winning the locker room is winning. If you're winning games, and you are part of the reason that your team is winning as a quarterback, your team's going to get behind you, no matter what else you're doing. If you are if you have the ability to help your team win games, in the NFL, your teammates are going to get behind you. And that's that's what Brock Purdy did last year. And that's why the 49ers players got behind Brock Purdy. You know, you go back to, it, it, it's not like all of a sudden players are just on Brock Purdy's side. The reason they got behind Brock Purdy and got on his side is because he started playing in the moment he stepped into the offense. Not only were they playing at the same level as, as Jimmy Garoppolo, but they started playing better on an, as an offense. And that's why the players rallied around him and that's why the players liked him so much continue to like him is because he helped them win games at a high rate and he helped them play at a very high level and if if Trey Lance can do that he'll win over those guys in the locker room it's think of take yourself back to 2012 you know the 49ers had just gone to got to within an overtime of going to the Super Bowl in 2011. Alex Smith comes back. He's a starting quarterback that season. He's playing as good as he's ever played until he gets injured against the Rams. Colin Kaepernick comes in. And although there's a lot of guys on that 49ers roster back in 2012 that were uh, big believers in Alex Smith and maybe didn't like how 
it all went down and how he lost his starting job. They all supported Colin Kaepernick and that they all got behind him. They all did the best that they could do because at the end of the day in the NFL, it's about winning. It's a job. And your job is to go out there and do your best and to win games. And as long as you're winning games, you're going to get behind that guy. You might not want to go out and party with him. You might not want to go out to the Warriors game with him. But you're going to go out there and you're going to do your best to win games. And so I see a lot of talk about this, and it just it doesn't make sense to me because if, if the 49ers are winning and this guy is a part of the reason that they're winning, they are going to stick with them. So, and the players will stick with them as well. So Trey Lance, just go, all he needs to do again, go out there, be consistent, and be accurate. That's how he's going to win the starting job. Be a part of the reason that your team is winning. That's how he's going to keep the job. He's going to win over his teammates by going out and winning and playing at a high level and helping them win and reach their goals. So there you have it. Take it for what it's worth. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you guys, before you leave, can do me a favor and hit that like button. And then also, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications because there's going to be a lot of information that comes down. And we'll be covering it all right here on Inside the 49ers with Jack Hammer. Next up, next week, we will have the 49ers OTAs will be starting up, and we will be on, on site to bring you that those updates as well. So keep it locked in. Anytime there's breaking news or content, it's going to happen right here on Inside the Farms with Jack Hammer. Take everybody. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll be talking with you soon.